from this to this. Pak, ganon! Contour! Hello gorgeous! It's me, Rick. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's makeup tricks, I'll teach you how to contour using a powder contour. Para hugis bigas. Huwag na natin patagalin pa. Let's go to the video! So first things first. Is there a big difference between bronzer and contour? Of course. If you really want to be humpak contour, use a real contour. Ang gamit ng bronzer is to warm your face. Yung bibigyan ka niya ng sun-kissed look na parang galing ka lang sa beach. On the other hand, contour is used to correct shapes. For example, if you have circle face, you can use contour to make it less of a circle. Or if kunwari medyo wide yung nose mo, you use contour to correct it. Or if you have double chin, you can use contour then. The main difference between contour and bronzer is their undertone. Contour and bronzer. Pansin nyo, mas warm si contour kasi yun talaga yung main function niya to give warmth to the face. Si contour, meron siyang grayish undertone which is perfect for sculpting. Kung gusto niyo talaga ng use a contour. Ito yung mga go-to powders ko. This one is from Makeup Forever. In the shade S112 and S116. Ito naman from MAC. This is shadowy and this is sculpt. Gamit na gamit siya. And of course, my favorite, the Sculpting Powder by Kevin O'Kwan. Kaya ako siya favorite kasi siya yung may pinaka gray undertone. So kung gusto mo talaga ng humpak na humpak na contour, nire-recommend ko to. And another reason, meron siyang three shades. So kung morena ka, perfect ito. Tapos kung maputi ka, perfect naman ito. Yan sila. Super love. Super, super love. Like super. If you're a makeup artist, I promise this is a very, very good investment. Lalo tong medium na shade. I think this is my fourth na. Kaya, pili na! Another important factor in contouring is yung gagamitin mong tools. You can use either an angled brush like this or a blush brush. What not to use? Yung malalaking powder brush. Of course, wala kang precision pag ganito kalaki yung gamit mo. If hindi ka pa ganun kagaling mag-contour, it's perfect to start and train with powder. So for this tutorial, I will teach you a universal way to contour. So kahit anong face shape mo, pwede ito sa'yo. So I applied my foundation already and lightly set it. Another important factor before you contour, always powder your face, lalo kung gumamit ka ng liquid foundation. Dahil kapag hindi mo sinet yung liquid foundation mo and nagdiretso ka na agad sa contour, doon natin nakukuha yung mga bloke-bloke. Yung pagka-apply mo, tas biglang merong malaking bloke dyan ng contour, tapos hindi mo siya mabiblend. Kaya dapat i-powder mo muna, lalo yung parts na maglalagay ka ng contour. So I will use my translucent powder from Laura Mercier. So powder lang yung areas na i-contour ko. Where to contour? Of course, hindi mo naman kailangan i-contour yung buong face mo. Titignan mo lang kung saan yung problem areas mo. It's up to you. So first problem area is your cheeks. Ito. Pag super laki nito. So where? Gagawa lang kayo ng imaginary line from here up to your mouth. So i-coconnect nyo lang yung dalawang yan. Yun. That is where you will put your contour. Huwag nyong gagawin yung tapos susundan nyo. Kasi hindi yun pwede sa lahat ng face shape. Like sa akin, hindi pwede yun. Tingnan nyo. Kunyari, ikaganyan ko. Tapos, ikokontour ko dyan. Pag inalis ko yung buwan yun, masyadong mababa yung placement ng contour. So, andito na yung contour ko. Eh, dapat nandito siya. So, better yung placement na ganito. From here to here. I will use the medium shade from Kevin Aquan. So, magde-deposit muna kayo ng product here. And then, blend it outward. Papunta dito. Tapos habang papunta ka sa may lips, pagaan ng pagaan yung kamay mo. Hanggang nakaangat na siya. So, ganito. Parang, tsara! Ganon. So, yung concentration ng product is nandito sa area na to. Then, i-blend nyo lang yung product papunta sa mouth. So, dyan. Ganyan. Mm. So, dito, deposit the product and then blend it papunta doon sa mouth. Ganyan. Tapos blend lang ng blend. 
Tapos again, yung yung edge lang dapat ng brush yung nagta-touch sa face mo. Iwasan niyo yung ganito. Dahil sasama pati yung foundation nyo. So, magmove yung foundation under. So, light lang. Ganyan. I-intensify ko ng very light para makita nyo kung saan talaga. And yung pagbiblend nyo, dapat upward and inward. So, paganyan lang. Iwasan yung bumaba from this imaginary line. So, lahat pataas. Laki na ng difference, diba? Next issue, jawline. Sino bang may ayaw ng panga ngayon? And the placement for this one naman, start under your ear sa likod, dyan. Papunta sa ganyan, pa-L. If you want a hard panga, but if you want a soft, you can parang pabilog, pa-curb na pa ganyan. So, it's up to you. Pwedeng pa-L or pa-curb na ganyan. Depende sa mood mo kung anong panga ang gusto mo. So, for today, gagawin natin curve para mas malambot. So, same. Start tayo dito. And then, blend lang. Tapos, kapag issue mo naman yung panga mo, kung gusto mo siyang paliitin, your placement is here. Sa harap naman ng tenga. Pag ganyan. Yan. Para umatras tong buong ito. Parang ganyan. Next issue is your forehead. Minsan kasi, masyadong gifted yung iba. Ako medyo lang. So, if you have a big round forehead, ang placement lang is here. Yan. So, susundan mo lang yung hairline mo. Pag ganyan. And if mataas naman yung hairline mo, start from here. Yan. Start from here. So, yung buong noo mo. Pero ako hindi naman masyado. Dito lang ang contour ko. Yan. Kasi medyo hindi naman mataas. So, kailangan ko lang ng pangpaliit slight. O, diba? Kita nyo yung difference? Oh, yes, Daddy! Mas humpak na to. Mas may shape na ito. And of course, the nose. You can use the same brush naman or you can use an eye brush like this. Kung gusto nyo mas precise, syempre mas maganda to. Pero pwede natin ito. I'll teach you how to use this for your nose. So, kukuha ka lang ng product. Tapos, ipipinch mo yung brush na ganyan. And then, apply it. Yan. Para one brush lang. Okay, papantayin ko lang po. Nakalimutan ko pala yung isa pang usual problem ng mga tao. Double chin! So, imagine na lang natin, malaki yung double chin ko. So, oh. So, kung ganyan ang double chin mo, ang placement ng contour, itudugtong mo lang yung nagawa mong jawline kanina. Tapunta dito. Yan. So, ikakontour mo yung mismong tabang nandyan. Ikontour mo siyang ganyan. Dito, pwede kayong maging generous pag malaki talaga siya, ha? <laughs> Ganun. Ang laki ng difference, di ba? Maglalagay ako ng video dito nung wala pa akong kakontour-contour. You can compare it. See? Ang laki ng difference, di ba? With the magic of contour. If you want to learn more tips and tricks, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the ring bell button para manotify kayo every time nagpo-post ako ng bagong video. Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope you learned something from this makeup tricks. If you haven't seen my last video yet, ito siya. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you and stay safe, guys. Normal shapes, double size, just like.